Okay, so um, a lot of stuff going on, and I probably need to change my contacts, and that's why I'm red. Um, interesting thing happened this week, or in the last couple weeks, so um, I talk about ancestors all the time. Most people know that I'm obviously mixed. Um, I have... European ancestry, primarily from uh, England, Ireland, Scotland, Northern Ireland, and along with Spanish, Portuguese, um, and a little bit of Italian. So, after I focused on other cultures... Now I'm starting to get more in input from my more European ancestors, and that hasn't happened in a couple of years, or probably like at least five years. And um, now that I've worked on a, different traditions, and I'm trying to reorganize my life, and not just my material life, but reorganize like my spirituality. And then I have my European ancestors like, hey, over here. And it made me think that I'm probably not the only person this has happened to. And it's, I'm probably not the only mixed person this has happened to. But a lot of times we get kind of so focused on what other people want us to focus on. And what other people decide for us based on our phenotype or what we look like that we should focus on spiritually that is it's not always the case. Um, so I have to take that into, into consideration and think of things differently, um, knowing that everyone in my family tree contributed to this person here, contributed to the vessel that I, I'm incarnated into, contributed to the blood that runs in my veins. So whether I like it or not, everyone has some type of contribution. So some people will have ancestors that are more present, more dominant, like mine are obviously more more dominant ones are either indigenous or um, African or, or Indian from East Indian. And, but I have ones that are coming up more now um, they're kind of want more of my attention. So I have to do some more research into how to work with those ancestors and also what type of spirits they used to work with, um, coming out of Ireland more so, um, and the specifics, so I, you know, I have to talk to certain, sometimes I have to go outside of my, um, main, um, area of expertise, talk to people who are um, more into European magic, more into European witchcraft, and be open about that. And so, and that also made me think about how it was brought up that certain things I have in my house, in my room, do not mesh with other type of spirits. So that um, you have to think about even with dealing with ancestors, and I always brought this up a lot, that the Yoruba way or the Orisha way of working with ancestors does not work for everyone, does not work for everyone's ancestors. Sometimes they, you have ancestors from other places. They want things to be done a different way. Sometimes they can't even be outside. So I have ancestors that want me to do things specifically outside, away from the house, and also away from certain things that I have that are more African. Not, and it's not just because of that they're black or they're African that is coming from a racial point of view. It's because a um, composition point of view. Because uh, a lot of things that I have from Condomble or Ifa have a lot of certain or use a lot of metal especially a lot of iron and certain spirits from other parts of the world do not like certain metals so 
some spirits from like Ireland do not like iron, for example. Um, some spirits don't like certain types of, may not like copper, may not like brass. So you have to be real uh, cognizant if you come from a mixed um, heritage or a mixed ancestral background that you ha you might have to split up your ancestral altar in different um, places. You might have something outside. You might have something inside. You might have something that's a different composition. Some something might be made of wood instead of metal, whereas other places it might be a another group or a tribe might be metal or something maybe on the floor or something maybe up high. You just have to figure things out based on um, input from readings, dreams, etc. So yeah, just want to give my own experience with that. Bye.